Hello, this is James. Right now we have the extra reward campaign giving us an extra thousand uh, points to the dual assessments and it's the perfect time to farm uh, legendary duelists with some good, sweet, free-to-play farming decks. So, this deck is counter fairies using uh, Neo Parshath, the Sky Paladin, for the purpose of farming Yugi Moto because I know that his his traps and not his traps his spell cards and his effect mon his bouncing monsters can be quite confounding. But with the power of counter fairies, it it becomes trivial. So uh, obviously we have our counter traps, divine punishment, negate spell trap or effect monsters, and then the weaker version, ultimate providence, uh, negate spell trap or effect monsters. But you have to discard the same type of card as is being negated. So. Uh, he has, Yugi has, well, a number of things. He has, he has his two big, big beaters, uh, Valk and Mega Rock. Uh, Mega Rock is why we have Solemn Scolding. Uh, and then Valkyrion, it, as long as you step on the Magnet Warriors with uh, your Zeratius or Bountiful Artemis boosted up with Spike Shield with Chain, you don't have to worry about Valk so much. Um, he has Karibo, but since we're going to be aggressively attacking, uh, Karibo's going to get used up. Uh, he has his Bounce Monsters, and the Bounce Monsters are what you're going to want to use. I mean, you'll use what you have to use, but try to use Ultimate Providence, because uh, with this deck, you're going to have a lot of monsters in hand. We don't have spells uh, to negate, to discard for Ultimate Providence to negate Order to Charge. Uh, so you want to try to use Ultimate Providence to negate his Bounce Monsters, if at all possible. And uh, Divine Punishment is for the, well, anything really, but uh, primarily make sure you save one or two to prevent your Neo Parshath from being destroyed by the uh, Order to Charge spell card. Uh, so our fairies are Bountiful Artemis, each time a counter trap activates, uh, draw cards. Radius is going to search out our one sanctuary in the sky. And then Radiant Jiral, uh, this card, he's a, he's a good uh, blocker. He's going to block everything that's not a bounce monster or one of the big nasties. And uh, gain a thousand life points if Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field when he, when he gets tributed. So if you tribute him for Neo Parshat, the Sky Paladin, gain a thousand life points. But where, but James, where's the, where's the big smash? Uh, the big smash, the big damage comes from Fairy Smile and Neo Parshat. So Fairy Smile, uh, each time we draw a fairy, we reveal it and we gain a thousand life points. Uh, that's, that's normal draw during your draw phase, not, not your Artemis draw. And uh, Neo Parshath, he has, a, he has a bunch of effects, but the, the main one that we're interested in is, well, actually we like two of them. Uh, one is he inflicts piercing damage, so we don't need secret pass, we don't need the, the, the vassal combo uh, with the campaign bonus, obviously. And while Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field and your life points are higher than your opponents, this card gains attack and defense equal to the difference in life points. So, uh, with Fairy Smile, uh, he's, Yugi's not going to really be able to get a, in an attack with all this negation, so we're going to have 4,000 life points. We're going to gain 1,000 life points each time we draw a fairy. And uh, if we tribute off the Jirals, that's an extra 1,000. All of that contributes to the big smash uh, piercing damage from the Neo Parshath, the Sky Paladin. So, uh, without the bonus, this this deck scores. Uh, without the bonus and playing one or two glossies, this deck scores around uh, 6,900 if you destroy 10 monsters. Uh, so, with the bonus, we get 7,900. And if you're able to play more glossies, you can get that up to 8,000. Um, let's look at some replays. Roll the clips! Right, we're going to set Radiant Jiro, and we're going to, we're going to set the Scold. That's a, a beta. We're not worried about beta. But it means that we can't play our Artemis until we have uh, something good. That being Spike Shield the Chain. Uh -oh. Okay, so we are going to play the Artemis. And we're gonna go for the suicide into the gamma. Oh, there's the Sphere Karibo. Okay. Do we want to 
No, that's fine. Not suicide. Uh, attack into the gamma to prevent the to prevent the um, the Valkyrion. But we have a monster in hand, and we have uh, ultimate providence, and we even have solemn scolding. Uh, so we needn't worry about that. A giant soldier of stone. All right, and the thing uh, with weak monsters is he won't attack into. Change hmm. to attack position. He won't. Uh, he won't use order to charge. So that's beneficial. Oh, no, let's get rid of that. Order to charge. Pops my Jiro for some reason. Uh, we're going to continue to attack, and we're going to attack that. And, uh, so, we, and then, so we're going to use Spike Shield onto the Artemis. <clears throat> Zeradius? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, and we're going to activate the effect of Zeradius. We're not going to negate our own thing, that's silly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate this effect. And then we're going to we're gonna put him on the super defensive. With only 200 life points. Uh, we Okay, th that means we can't play Jiral anymore. Well no, yeah, he might not attack. Um We don't want to uh, it doesn't matter whether or not we have a. It doesn't matter or not whether or not we have the um, the comeback victory because this 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 deck relies on having uh, tons of life points anyway. Oh, divine punishment. Okay, so uh, what he has face down, but we have ultimate providence, so we're not worried about that. There's the Sphinx. And this clears the board, the ultimate providence. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, let's discard Artemis. Not going to negate our own thing. Uh, goodbye, Sphinx. And Battle for Artemis draws us a card. Released from stone. Yeah, we'll let that happen. Uh, order to charge. Tributes the gamma. Do we want to negate that? No, because we want to save our Solemn Scolding for uh, Mega Rock Dragon, if at all possible. Because that's the only thing that's the only thing that can stop Mega Rock. I believe let's go. Normal summon. And what's he got in the grave? List. Yeah, he's got a Sphinx, and he's got both his order charges, and uh... Okay, okay, okay. But we're afraid of the Mega Rock, so we're gonna leave the Scold as the only card. There's the Banish. Okay, so here's the Mega Rock. Here's why we have Solemn Scolding. Goodbye. Good team. Alright, here's Neo Parshath. Sky Paladin. And... Uh, okay, so... Now we fear nothing. Because we have... All of our good things, and we have our Neo Parshaf. Okay. And we're gonna get some good life points. All right. So if we draw two fairy monsters, and then and so we're not going to attack. Out our max out our attack and our drawing and all of that, and we have 
look at this. We have three divine punishments. We're fine. Zeradius, Herald of Heaven. Right, there's our over 10,000. End our turn. Banishes for the rock spirit. In... Not not concerned. All right. Now usually I would wait until. I would go ahead and uh, attack into him when there was one card remaining because that's our that, that's definitely that's our second to last turn. But since he already played his Fear Karibo, we can wait until the last turn and we can attack into the Rock Spirit. Yabow! Six thousand without the bonus. Seventy-four hundred. Uh, if you destroy more monsters, you get, uh, I think it's an extra, so it's 200, and then I think you get, I think if you destroy 10, it's, it's an extra. Uh, but definitely, I have gotten 7,900 with this deck, so it's possible to, with an extra couple extra glossies, to get over 7,000. Right, yeah, over 7,000, and then plus the campaign bonus is over 8,000. My apologies. Uh, technical difficulties necessitate the viewing of this farm as a replay, but I did manage to save the reward screen, so we're, we're going to be able to, to get that. Alright, so we're going second. And we have pretty junk hand. Uh, so he sets a card. That could either be a golem sentry or a... Um, a golem sentry or a soldier of stone. Uh, but since we don't have any any negating monsters, we're going to uh, just set Radiant Jiral to, to stall and to save our life points. We're going to get our Artemis out. And this is this is actually good. So even though Artemis would die to a uh, Beta the Magnet Warrior, we're able to uh, use up his Karibo. So, uh, so he, he special summons... Oh wow, there's a lot of things going on. He special summons Mega Rock with only one monster, but then he uses that as tribute for this is the Guardian Sphinx. Um, and that's why we have our traps. So Sphinx is going to get negated with Ultimate Providence, and you wanna you wanna clear his monsters. You wanna get his monsters off the field to prevent him from using uh, their ridiculous effects and um, from using order to charge. But he can order to charge uh, Zeradius, that's fine. We draw another Zeradius, we gain a thousand life points, and that's and that more life points is just more attack points. And we're going to go ahead for the direct attack uh, because we don't really care about uh, having more life points, you know, the comeback victory, because uh, we have the event bonus. He's going to go faint plan. We are going to negate that because. Uh, if it, in this case, uh, I would rather discard my trap to negate a trap and then get rid of the, the monster than having to uh, not, and being able to not negate uh, the, the golem sentry. But it's not golem sentry, it's just alpha the magnet warrior. We draw another fairy, gain more life points. Uh, so we have a good strong board. We have a divine punishment face down. And we draw another fairy, and we're just going to keep we're just going to keep blowing up his monsters. So now now that all three Val now three all three magnet warriors are in the graveyard, uh, Valkyrion is pop is impossible for him to play. Uh, he's going to special summon release from stone. I uh, usually so sometimes he can you know, if you only destroy one, he can banish it to special summon rock spirit, and then special summon that banished monster with release from stone. But in this case, he special summons his golem sentry. Um, so we can special summon the, the, the dead Magnet Warrior back and then 
and then tribute it for Valk. Uh, we draw another fairy and we have, oh look, we didn't even need all of these. We're, th these are just for mop up. Three divine punishments. And finally, we're gonna tribute for our big boy and attack for over 10,000 damage. And we're going to take a look at the reward screen next. So here's our reward screen for that last duel. Uh, duel, victory, no damage, cards in the brain, play glossy card, over 900 blah, 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 damage, seven monsters, activate spell, trap, uh, perform tribute summon. So if we destroyed 10 monsters or if we got two more, uh, glossies we would have ha had maximum score thank you for watching